Hi, this is Jack Young from Visual Paradigm. In the next few minutes, I will describe and demonstrate the 14 enhancements we have made to our customer journey mapping tool in Visual Paradigm 14.2 Service Pack 1. This video will focus on the enhancements. If you want to know what the customer journey map is, please check another video. I've included a link in the video description. Okay, let's start. The first and a major enhancement is that you can now develop customer journey maps online. If you're using Visual Paradigm Professional or Enterprise, you can edit customer journey map under the repository or VP server. Let me spend a minute to show you how to start editing a customer journey map online. I'll start from the subscription of the repository. If you are already using the repository, you can skip the next 20 seconds. All right, to try out the online customer journey mapping tool, subscribe to vpository first. Click the subscribe button here. Enter your email and confirm. Wait a minute. I can now log into vpository. This is the dashboard of vpository. Simply click here to open the customer journey mapping tool. The repository is newly created with our project. Let me create one. I enter the project name. I'm not going to add other members right now. This can be done anytime in the administration page. So I just click create. I'm brought to the main page of the customer journey mapping tool. To create a journey map, click on a template. Let's say I want to start with this standard template. I just click on it. Give the journey map a name. And now I can start editing. For example, I can rename a stage. Modify the map content, etc. No matter you are an existing Visual Paradigm user or totally new to Visual Paradigm, you can try the online customer journey mapping tool by subscribing to Vpository. To subscribe, visit www.vpository.com v-p-o-s-i-t-o-r-y dot c-o-m Let's continue to the other enhancements. Persona support. When you create a new customer journey map, you will see the persona lane here. Let's see what it is. Here is a customer journey map with a persona, Raymond Waters. A persona is a fictional character developed to represent a specific group of customers that share the same goals and customer behaviors. The use of persona allows you to gain a deeper understanding of your customers and to ensure you have your customers in mind when improving customer experience. This is the photo of the persona, and this is his or her name. You can rename the persona by clicking on the photo. and enter a description here. Describe the persona by explaining his background and needs. This will provide background context for the customer journey and help audiences develop empathy for the persona. You can write a short paragraph here as the description or a quote for the persona that reflects emotions and attitudes like this. There is nothing I love better than sitting on the sofa, watching TV for the whole day, blah, blah, blah. Make sure it sounds like something a real customer would actually say. Starting from version 14.2 Service Pack 1, you can represent comparative data through charts. This is a customer experience chart. A customer experience chart represents the trend of customer experience across the touch points. In this journey map, we've identified 10 touch points. The customer experience chart here represents the customer emotion throughout the 10 touch points. You can drag the nose up and down to update the rating. You can also rename the captions of chart like this. To create a customer experience chart, Right-click on the lane where consecutive numbers is selected as sales format, and then select Create Experience Chart. This is another journey map. It demonstrates the use of emotion charts. Emotion charts also represent customer experience. 
Unlike customer experience chart, emotion chart shows customer experience by stage, not by touch points. The use of smiley faces also make the map more engaging. You can represent customers' emotions by dragging the smiley faces up and down. To create an emotion chart, right-click on any lane and select Insert Lane Above or Below, and then Emotion. This is another journey map with two charts. Let's take a look at the bottom one first, the Area Chart. Area charts allow you to view the overall trend rather than individual values. Besides, an area chart with multiple data series, like this one, allows you to compare different data on the particular stage. Finally, you can use bar charts in cell to present categorical data. In this journey map, we use bar charts to represent the customer's satisfaction towards different parties. For example, towards the shop and the seller. The configuration of charts in cells can be different. As you can see, the chart under the third stage consists of three bars. You can adjust the value by drag and drop and change the bars to appear in the chart configuration screen, like this. To create an area chart is simple. Just right-click on any link's header and select Insert Link above or below, and then Area Chart. We've also enriched the journey map by supporting few more cells formats. The first one, Consecutive Numbers. You can apply consecutive numbers for cell items. Consecutive means the items will be numbered in order, and the count will not reset in a new stage. In this map, consecutive numbers are used to represent the 10 touch points. If you want to represent a customer journey with images, you can set images as sales background. In this journey map, we used three cartoon images to visualize the customer journey of an on-site oven repair service. To use image in a cell, you right-click on the cell and select Set Background Image. The next one, Description Cell. Besides listing information point by point, you can also write description for the entire cell. Merge cells in lane. Finally, you can merge all the cells in a lane to become one, like this. Let's take a look at the other enhancements. Temporarily hide away a lane. There may be different audiences for your journey map who are interested in different parts of a customer's journey. You can show them the information they're interested in by hiding away irrelevant links in the map. To hide away a lane, just right-click on its header and select Hide from the pop-up menu. To show a hidden link, right-click on the background of the map and select Show Links, and then the link to set visible. Stage Description Now you can write a short description for stages, like this one. Stakeholder Assignment You can set to sales the stakeholders who are responsible for changes planned. To do this, right-click on the cell and select Set Stakeholder. Finally, you can now reorder links easily with drag and drops. That's all for the enhancements of customer journey mapping, available in Visual Paradigm 14.2 Service Pack 1. We hope you find the changes useful. If you are using version 14.2, you can update your installation to advance to Service Pack 1. No reactivation required. If you want to try the online customer journey mapping tool, please subscribe to Vpository at www.vpository.com. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.